there are some weaknesses in your life that you can never overcome this looks funny but I'm going to explain to you there are some weaknesses in your life that God will never remove God will only give you the wisdom to manage it Moses said to the Lord I am a stammerer there is no way where God healed him he just had to manage it so don't kill yourself because you made a mistake each time I make a mistake I don't deliberately sin against God whether in public or in private I try with the power of the Holy Spirit to live a holy and righteous life I don't want to do anything that if it, the, the tape has to be played I'll be ashamed as the Lord helps me but each time I happen to make a mistake it reminds me that I am still a human it reminds me that of my humanity forgive yourself and move on a lot of homes are in problems today because the woman cannot forgive the man <laughs> ah, why are you crying don't you know today's date <laughs> What's today's date? Today is April 27th and so exactly three years ago, April 27th, you slept with that secretary. It is the anniversary of your adultery. My dear, forgive. In my village, they say, if you don't forgive the matter of yesterday, there will be nobody to play with today. Is it because people are not telling you their stories? The person sitting closest to you in church, if we should play the videotape of that person's life, you will know your own as small. Move on. Forgive people. Forgive yourself. The devil tells you, look at you. You are butted seven times before you were born again. That's why you don't have a child. Said the devil, shut up. God does not consult my past to determine my future. If you were married as a virgin, it's a privilege for you. We thank God for you. But excuse me, some people lost their virginity not because they wanted to lose it. And that does not make them small or inferior. It doesn't. Why must the devil keep on hammering on your sin? You keep pulling your sin out from under the blood cover. Leave it there. And face the front and live your life. God is working on you. Don't give up on me yet. Because you don't know where God is taking me. I lived with my uncle for 10 years. He got married while I was living for, with him. He treated me very well. I thought when the wife arrives, she will maltreat me. She didn't. So two or three years ago, I said to my husband, all the bon vita and all the soap that my uncle bought while I was in secondary school, I want to make sure he doesn't finish eating he, I, want, I want to make sure he doesn't finish drinking I want to make sure he will never recover so let's get him, let's build him a house took some money, built him a house and then I said to my husband if this man and his wife have a house they shouldn't be trekking as tenants so, sorry, as landlords so let's get him a car and then gave him, bought him a car and his wife and I said to the wife God saved you that you didn't treat me badly. Every Mordecai hearing me today, treat your Esther's very well. Because you don't know what your Esther can become. Time sometimes hides greatness. That we are sitting on the same seat in church does not matter. The present first lady of Lagos Station, sorry, of, of Ondo Station, she still sent me a text yesterday night. We were sweeping together in the church. I didn't know that one day she would become a first lady. She would tie her scarf, I would tie my own. In our church. I was a member of the church and we would be sweeping. I didn't know I was sweeping. Time hides greatness. God saved me that I didn't treat her badly as a pastor's wife. one day it will show it's just that you must start on time because the journey is far and long keep building when you are married to a woman and you raise your hand and you slap that woman you need to visit the psychiatric hospital where are 
the fathers you have no right to ask me to respect you as a pastor as a preacher let me just meet your wife first and your children let me listen to them for three minutes and for five minutes and i can tell you if you deserve my respect we have challenges in the nation today because many fathers lost it pursuing coca-cola pursuing ministry pursuing everything their mouth will be like preaching and preaching where their children were dying was it not that man Jairus that went to seek Jesus for his daughter the child you nurture today will nourish you tomorrow don't let your life end with you invest into your future build with posterity in mind i told the ladies yesterday don't wear the cement you should use as a building don't don't spend the money you should give to the bricklayers the masons at mr biggs put things together don't try to be anybody when you are 40 as a man you should have at least a landed property that's why they call them land lord 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 you are not a lord many years ago my husband i served him a sumptuous meal breakfast you know lunch he came home from from work and while he was eating enjoying himself my son my second son walked up to him he was about seven then he said to him dad you are the only one enjoying this house sit the table and my husband said in my house my son said we know the landlord you are not the owner <laughs> that day my husband dropped the fork and the knife Dal, I said, what's he said, darling I said, come 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 jump into the car where are we going just come we went out looking for land that day we got land out of the mouth of babes and sucklings All the corn beef you are eating, all the all the cutlets, everything they wear, that's what you wear, and you don't have a house. If the person that beat the one you rented, if you didn't build, will you be there? If your landlord makes you the chief tenant, you are the one collecting rent, you are sick. So you have been here 20 years, so help us collect rent. The man is choosing you to rise. Today I push you forward. The third one because i need to close is relationships have you noticed that when a building is on we have the foreman we have the masons we have this one carrying this one we have that one nothing serious nothing that will last can build can rise and exist without god-sent relationships and every one of you you need at least seven kinds of relationships every one of you Thank you.